Welcome back to the part three of OpenAI Langchain and Node.js tutorial. If you're watching this for the first time and uh, having problem understanding something, I strongly recommend that you visit part one and two for further clarification. That being said, let's get started. All right, so we're back at the code and uh, this is exactly where we left off at uh, part number two, prompt template multi-chain this time we're going to go ahead and work on the prompt agent what this is doing is basically invoking the langchain agent api and we're bringing in some tools to help out the agent for example calculator the search api they're coming from right here langchain tools and langchain tools calculator and to create the executor of the agent we are also bringing in this one initialize agent executor with options and this is coming from langchain agent so let's see how that's going to work first off we're creating the tools and instantiating calculator and search api now this one is coming from a service this one and you can get an api key and for free they will let you use up to 100 searches as you can see i have 51 left so that's why I am not really trying to hide this API key. I know I should be putting it into the .env file, but uh, I'm just taking a shortcut for the sake of uh, simplicity here. So once this uh, search tool tools has been composed, then we go into executor and we call this function initialize agent executor with options. And we pass uh, tools there, the model, and this dot model coming from right here, the constructor using OpenAI PPT 3.5 Turbo. And then it, it will take uh, two other attributes. One is verbose. I mean, at this point, I'm going to keep it false because otherwise the, uh, it's going to generate all the details, which I will show you afterwards. And the other one is agent type. There are a few other types of agents there. And if you are curious about this, let's do this. Like just uh, copy this and go back to the document. And this time we'll go to chat our docs and ask it, what does this mean? Paste it, enter. And it's going to give you all the details necessary and you can ask further questions and you also We'll have the source documentation for details. That being said, let's go back. And uh, once this executor is done, that means we will have loaded our agent. So I'm going to console log that the agent is loaded. So we make sure up to this one is done. And once that is done, then we will send a request and await it because it's an async function, executor.call. And within that call, it's going to take a text input. And in this case, I am giving it, uh, please give me the result of 23 raised to the power 0 0.23. This is a you know complicated math question. And let's see how to instantiate this. Okay. We already have this object made, which is langchain intro dot. And we are looking for prompt agent here. And we're calling it as a function. And now we will go inside that folder of the app and call npm run dev. So let's see what it does. Agent loaded. And we get our answer. Okay, so now we know it's using the calculator. Let's go back. And this time we're going to go ahead and enable this question and disable this one and uh, this final game actually concluded in this year October but the open AI API the last training ended April 2023 so it has no way of knowing that who won the you know championship without visiting the web right so and also this time we're gonna go ahead and enable this verbose to true so that we get detailed answer we actually track the whole answer down right so let's save that go back and see what it does all right look it's uh going and visiting websites it's converting you know taking this question 
and thought and it's the uh, you know like thinking what to do going out there getting another document and boom answer is australia so this is what verbose gives you i mean you know this is great for troubleshooting and you get to see actually what steps the agent took to get to the final answer and the correct answer is australia so our agent was successful and that being said Let's go to the next module. All right, so our next module will be a small one, which is the prompt streaming. So basically, so far what we have seen is our output came like uh, in full answer. One thing, uh, like a whole answer dropped at one time. But when we actually, you know, go uh, create a chatbot or something like that, we need it to show the streaming of the output, right? And this is what, what is happening here. So that's why I'm asking it a long question. But basically, you know, before we used to bring the whole model from our uh, constructor up there, but now we're just showing the whole constructor because originally our constructor looked like this, but now we're adding these new attributes, streaming true and callbacks, and uh, it will take the token and give us the token in the std out means uh, standard output, which is the command prompt where we are actually receiving the answers, right? That's how we set up our model to get a streaming answer. And we're gonna just give it a, a long question and simply ask the you know, response by calling model.call. And then, in fact, I don't think we even need that because this will take care of it. The whole output will be streamed out into our command, command line, right? So that being said, let's go ahead and disable this. Line chain intro dot prompt streaming. Okay, so let's disable that too. Okay, now let's save this and go back and enable that. And now if I save it, let's go see how we get the answer. Let's keep, it our, keep an eye out here. Look at this. Answer coming streaming right through. And that's how we create the answer streams with Langchain. Let's do one more. Let's give it another question. When is World War Three? Save it. Let's go. Let's see what it does. And look at this. Answers coming streaming right through. With that, let's go to the next module. All right, the last few, the last few lessons, uh, we covered the basic input output with the OpenAI using Langchain. But from here, we're gonna handle the chat situations, like how to use Langchain when we are using a chatbot or a custom, building a custom assistant and such, right? In order to do that, uh, besides open, you know, chat open AI, we're also bringing in human message, system message from Langchain schema. And uh, to handle the templating, we're bringing in system message template, human message template, human message prompt template, and chat prompt template from Langchain prompt. And of course, to chain them together, LLM chain. Now let's uh, look at our constructor where we're declaring the model. We're following the usual step, but we're adding in extra the uh, streaming process. So whatever answer it's gonna give us, uh, it's gonna stream that answer to our standard out or command prompt, right? Now let's look at our first assistant. So far that we have been asking the question and we're getting a reply back, but we had no control over how this uh, chatbot would answer. But this time using this model, we're going to uh, send a, an array of uh, system message and human message prompt so that we can alter the response, right? Here in the system message, I'm actually telling it that your name is Rico and you're a very funny guy. Answer every question with short sentence and with a sense of humor. And for the user prompt, uh, we are bringing in a string from wherever we're running it. So this is our method name, custom assistant. So let's go. Here I already instantiated our object langchain chat with the uh, langchain underscore chat class, which is right here. So now if I just say langchain chat dot custom assistant, 
and we ask it a question. Let's say, who is Trump? And it's supposed to answer in a very funny way. So let's see what it does. Let's run it. There you go. Oh, just the guy with the fabulous hair who used to be president. See, now his whole attitude changed. And uh, just to make sure that this is totally personalized, so we're going to ask him, what is your name and what do you do? All right, let's save that. Go here and wait. Boom, there you go. My name is Rico and I'm a professional jokester. All right, so that actually shows that we are completely in control of our chatbot or the uh, custom assistant, right? So now let's extend it a little bit, just like I showed in the previous uh, few examples that uh, how to uh, template our uh, prompts and pr provide variables. Right here, custom assistant template, we're going to go ahead and uh, bring in two variables, uh, output language, it's a string and the regular prompt, whatever uh, the text user wants to uh, be translated because we are creating a, an, a language translate assistant bot, right? So we're actually telling him, hey, your name is uh, Vincent something something. You are a helpful assistant that translates input language. Let's say we want to convert it into Hindi, right? So to translate into Hindi to output or oh, input, sorry, it, this should be English translate English to Hindi and answer only with output lang, which is with the uh, Hindi language, because that's the output language pronunciation in input lang. Because basically what I'm asking it to do is you answer, you translate the sentence, but your answer should be the pronunciation in English of the target language, which is, let's say, if I'm asking it to convert English to Hindi, so it's going to answer me with a Hindi pronunciation in English, so that non-output language, that means non-English speakers can read. And um, usually, it actually gives the original language and the syntax and everything, but uh, since we're working in a command prompt environment, we are not going to be able to see it. We're going to see gibberish. So, so I'm telling it, do not. Yeah, you see here, I had to do a bunch of, uh, you know, experiment with it, some, you know, prompt engineering per se, just to get it right. Because if I, you know, if I just said not or don't do this, it sometimes ignores it. So I put it in uppercase. So now it will not produce the output in the uh, actual language and letter and syntax at this time. Because that, you know, that means at this point, I don't need it to uh, print out the original language. And at the same time, you know, this extra line I had to add because with, without it, it was answering me, you know, erratically, you know, sometimes right, sometimes wrong. So I had to give it a very specific example. Let's say if you are converting English to Hindi and uh, if your sentence is, I am Vincent, you should only reply like Mera Nam Vincent. That means it in Hindi, if you translate it, this is the pronunciation. I'm specifically telling it how to answer the question right now. And then comes the human message prompt template, user text. And this is where uh, this prompt will go, right? So now that our prompt template is translation prompt is ready. Now we're going to go ahead and combine it together using LLM chain. So we're just passing the prompt, the, which is the uh, translation prompt right here, and the model. The model is right here, which, which is ready to give us the answer in a streaming format in our STD out or command prompt, standard out, right? And just to make it a little bit more dynamic, see this output lang, we're going to change this. If, before I was testing it with this, you know, hard-coded Hindi, but now I'm going to do output lang. So that way, when I, you know, ask it, I'm going to be giving it two uh, prompts. So one is the output language and the prompt to translate. And once again, since, uh, you know, we are streaming everything in the, uh, you know, command prompt, we are not going to need to console log it. So that being done, now let's say we go back and let me see where we are here. Okay, good. 
Lang chain chat dot this time custom assistant template and first of all we're gonna give it let's say Hindi and let's say give it uh, to translate how are you so our language assistant should convert English how are you into Hindi so let's save and go check boom there you go tum kaise ho I mean, uh, since I understand this language, uh, it's actually doing it accurately. And, uh, and this is the reason I uh, told it to show only the English pronunciation of that original language so that anybody can read. So now let's change uh, to another other language. Let's say we're going to say, how are you in Urdu, which is a Pakistani language, and say, what is your name? Dave? And let's see. And it gave me the pronunciation in Urdu. And the same thing if I change another language, Bengali, for instance. And it does the same thing, just giving me the pronunciation in language and doing it accurately. So this is how we actually take control of our chatbot and turn that into a custom assistant. And with that, I conclude the part number three of our Langchain, Node.js, and OpenAI tutorial. Thanks for watching.